Okay, uncivilized vitality, uh, nourishment number three, occasionally don't eat. So we're going to use intermittent fasting or IF. And here's the simplest or most basic uh, IF you can start to incorporate at home. Uh, before we do that, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, go back and reread the disclaimer that says none of this constitutes direct medical advice to you. This is just in general. So we talked about IF. The simplest uh, intermittent fasting way to get started is to break your 24-hour day into a, um, a 10 and a 14 or an 8 and a 6 or a 6 and an 18. And what I mean by that is you're going to give yourself 8 hours uh, to feed and then 16 hours to fast. Okay? And fast means water only. Um, there are some exceptions. Tea would be okay. Coffee, black, right? Um, just that. So um, I guess that'd be the exception of water. They're basically water with a few uh, leaves or some beans brewed in them. But the 16 hours, you're fasted, uh, and you got six, you got eight hours to feed. The simplest way to do this is just to pick, say, noon to 8 p.m. That means I have to be done eating by 8 p.m. Preferably, you'd eat your meal at 7 or 6, so you get those last two hours to get out of the fed state um, that you can eat here. You still want to eat healthy. Go back and we'll talk about nourishment number one, real foods are vital. Uh, but even intermittent fasting on crap, which is a, um, IFOC, IFOC, you can get away with that because fasting is not always about weight loss. Sometimes that's a happy side effect when you're burning. If you're intermittent fasting, periods go on consistently or longer. You do a 24-hour fast. You'll start to tap into your stored energy and burn that fat for fuel um, in order to do things like revitalize, restore, repair uh, while you're in the fasted state. So typically you see some weight loss as a side effect of fasting, but the main reason we do fasting is for the health promoting benefits, not necessarily to uh, lose weight. Right? So you could eat uh, almost what you'd like to eat, but it's better to eat healthy foods or real foods, obviously staying in, in line with our um, nourishment advice. But uh, you only eat during these eight hours from noon to eight. You could you could do defensive depending if it fits your lifestyle better. Right, 10 a.m. to six. You could eat uh, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can pick any eight hours in the day that work for you as long as it's in a straight block. And in this eight hours uh, while you're eating, that's where you'll get your one or maybe your two insulin spikes through that and give yourself enough time to drop that spike off before you enter your 16-hour fast and um, go from there. So this is the simplest one called an eight and a 16. Very, very similar. I'm gonna throw one more in there. It is a simple 24 hour fast. So after you've done a few eight and 16s, a couple um, weeks or months of that, and you're getting used to it, you can go for a full 24 hours in the fasted state. Easiest thing to do there, let's say today's Tuesday, and this is Wednesday, All right? So you're gonna eat like normal. Maybe you get four of your, um, Let's say you start eating at 10 a.m. You're 8 and 16. Normally you eat 10 to 6. So you eat on Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So you get your first four hours, and then you stop eating at 2 p.m. All right? So everything's done. And I don't eat again until 2 p.m. on Wednesday, and then from 2 to my normal 6 p.m., then I can eat. All right? So this 24-hour period, usually you're going to be sleeping for eight hours of that, Usually, um, although eight hours is not the perfect sleeping time period, I just pointing that out because most people uh, have heard that or understand it. So a simple 24-hour fast that you could do once a week to get a little double the whammy of your 16-hour fast is just eat normally until 2 p.m., stop eating, go to sleep that night, a few six, eight hours later, you sleep most of the night, you wake up in the morning, just skip breakfast until you hit, start eating at your normal period again, and now you've cracked out your first 24-hour fast. And then from the 8 and 16 base, get used to fat intermittent fasting, then we'll go to 24, and then we'll start building you out to some of the bigger fasts where you're going 72 hours, uh, 5 days, 10 days, and then uh, we'll go from there.